Here's another thing that they're distracting us from. Um, Obama on that gay shit? Yep. Yeah, I mean, in typical typical bungler fashion, it's not even like... <laughs> Like it would be if he if it was like, oh, yeah, he like fucked two dudes in the 70s and was like, yeah. eh, not for me. That happened to a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you're listening and you're over the age of 30, probably happened to your dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you know, really very. It was really a popular thing in the 70s. Every man was kind of trying it. Obama, though, um, very clearly was trying to gender flirt. Yeah. Trying to get yes. with a bi he was trying to get with a bi girl. But he's like a typical bungler fashion. He like compromised himself out of existence. He compromised himself so far out where he's like, well, it would be like totally dishonest to say that I've had sex with men. So we're not going to go with that. And I'm not going to say I'm gay because that might foreclose future possibilities. So I'm going to start at the negotiating position that I astral project into men's holes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it says here, a 21-year-old Barack Obama believed that being gay was a way to detach from reality and told an ex-girlfriend that he had fantasies of making love to men. In a letter written to his college girlfriend, Alex McNear, in November 1982, the former president of the United States mused on homosexuality and gender. Obama also spoke about his androgynous mind and hopes to see people as humans, not through the lens of binary gender categories. I mean, this is just like, he's just trying to have a threesome. Yeah. He's trying to like just finagle... Uh, you know, some some sort of yeah, he's gender flirting. I'm I'm imagining, you know, it's campaign trail, the two advisors pop up on the screen. You are gonna get no pussy from this. <laughs> <laughs> you will regret this. I mean, it's safe to say this did not work. Yeah, no. This did not there is no universe in with where this ever works. Um he said that fantasizing about sex with other men was an escape from reality, which is like <laughs> You really see what men would fantasize about before we had school shootings and mass shootings to daydream about, you know, stopping with karate. He, al he also said that uh, it helps him like defy time and space. Yeah. Like step outside of the stream of, of existence and history. Like, damn, dude. Dr. Man asshole. How, <laughs> how did that not work? You know? well, it's just here, the, the how, did, how did, hey, I'm a brown seer not work? <laughs> <laughs> the 44th he ate a different type of Jojen paste. <laughs> the 44th U.S. president and first black president wrote in re uh, in regard in regard to uh, homosexuality. I must say that I believe it is an attempt to remove oneself from the present, a refusal perhaps to perpetuate the endless farce of an earthly life. And uh, <laughs> what? What? Like, oh, wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is interesting. We've always talked about the problem of eternity on yeah. this show. Did President Obama finally stumble on the first solution of his life? The solution to eternity is sex with men. Yeah. Yeah, that is. I mean, I don't know what qualities he's assigning to it, but it is. I guess there's something immortal about it. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I mean, I, I always suspected gay guys were having more fun. But, you know, yeah. now that I realize that they've slipped the bonds of space, time and reality. I mean, yeah. I've, I mean, I've had some tight orgasms in my life, but yeah. nothing compares to that. Yeah. He says, uh, yes, you see, uh, you see, I make love to men daily, but in my imagination. <laughs> 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 By the way, if there's any um, uh, hot bi women listening to this program right now, I also do this. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I, I'm not, I mean, I haven't done, I haven't actually like, you know, crossed that Rubicon, but in my imagination, yeah, anything's possible. <laughs> he also wrote about his conflicting thoughts on gender. My mind is an androgynous to the great extent, and I hope uh, to make it more so. So until, until I can think of people uh, in terms of people, not women, as opposed to men. But in returning to the body, I see that I have been made a man. And physically in life, I choose to accept that contingency. <laughs> it's <laughs> this damn. is like the most Obama yeah like the most Obama way of talking about sexuality. Yeah, no, he's really he's his own big tent. Yeah. <laughs> he's really trying to please everyone. It just, I mean, like it would be, if this was like, if this was, you know, he, these were actually things he was struggling with, you know, that's one thing, but knowing Obama, this is 
just him trying to fuck the ethereal bisexual. Yeah. yeah. Like there's, I don't believe for a second that he yeah. was struggling with anything. He's like thinking about, okay, uh, so she was in a uh, uh, post-structural theory, uh, 101. <laughs> so she talked about Foucault and whatnot. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do some of that stuff. We'll, we'll add a little bit of a Simone de Beauvoir. And, and, uh, <laughs> hopefully that'll uh, unlock the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I've always thought uh, gender was something of a panopticon. 